everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going thrifting book thrifting so buckle in besties let's go and just like that we're here hey book besties it's voice over me i love when i do book thrifting videos because i get to talk to y'all over voiceover and i just have a lot of fun with it so welcome back welcome me back um hey this book thrifting vlog is actually really interesting because i did not expect to find so many duplicates of books here and it kicks like right off the bat like you can see here i'm holding a book called a man called ove and i literally find two of it and you can see like one is a purple tag and one is a green tag so i feel like that means they didn't get it in at the same time so like just right off the bat there's already two copies of those book and then right here there's literally three copies of this book side by side but the selection today wasn't like terrible there were some books that i've heard of like untamed i think it's self-help and I wasn't like that into it, but I've heard of some of these books like Bear to You. I've actually asked um, y'all about this before and gotten some interesting comments. A lot of y'all said like it's good. A lot of y'all said like, oh, it's old and it's pretty problematic. I decided not to pick up the rest of the series until I read the first book and I still haven't read the first book. So yeah. And then here we go again with the duplicates. This is Middlesex and literally two of them side by side so if you ever want a buddy read go to your goodwill and then i thought this book was interesting but i literally regret pulling it out because i think i like battled with the bookshelf to just put it back in and then i pulled out this book called the searcher which i've heard of tana tana french before um they've wrote i don't i forgot what the title is but they wrote a book before that i've heard of that's really popular and then roxanne gay writes like um short essays or short stories but a lot of like feminist writing which i've been wanting to read so i was like oh my gosh this is at the goodwill and then this book and then this book were literally the same just on different shelf so a lot of duplicates and then this book that i'm pointing at i literally found at a little free library but this book right here you can see hannah Kristen, literally a whole roll and then this book another whole roll of girl on the train so i'm like getting repetitive here but literally so many duplicates like isn't that wild i thought the cover of this book was really pretty but i haven't heard of it i just thought like the cover art was really beautiful and i'm not going to mention any more of the duplicates i've seen because there's going to be a lot more coming but just know that i see them i'm just not mentioning them but i did take a picture of like every single one i've seen and then here i am showing you the all famous 50 shades collection that i see in every single goodwill or thrift store doesn't even have to be a goodwill because it's everywhere and up until like this section of the shelves in goodwill i don't find any books that i'm personally like intrigued in or like that i know is like recent or like contemporary romance in that genre right like it's really hard to go to a goodwill and find like a good romance like contemporary romance i feel like they have a lot of like thriller self-help non-fiction but it's like hard to find well i you know you are at a thrift so i can't i can't complain but like the select the genre selection isn't even like comparable like they don't even have a good romance section like i'm not asking for like you know the newest picks i'm just asking for like a better genre selection like you know i know people are donating romance books but i'm just not seeing them at the thrift store so i don't know what's going on anyways this one says it's a hbo show i've literally never heard of it miss fletcher uh anyways and then i found this book the woods are 
the woods are always watching and i think it's part of a duet of there's someone in your house i don't know if this is like the first book or the second book but um i found the other one which is like the pink book of this like the same graphic but like pink text um in a little free library so i thought it was cool that i found this duet or like the first or second book i don't know what it is at a goodwill but it was um hardcover so i didn't pick it up but i just thought it was cool okay and then i just showed a sally rooney's book which is conversations with friend and that was like really wild and then this is a sports romance and when i was filming this like vlog i was like deep into my sports romance era and then i pick up another sally rooney's book so we have two sally rooney's book one in hardcover one in paperback and this just became a show i don't know if it's on hulu or hbo but it has joe arwin which is taylor swift's boyfriend and then um yeah now i have the decision if i want hardcover or paperback and i get to read it i've been wanting to read sally rooney because i read normals people and i read it three star it wasn't like my favorite it the no quotation was an adjustment but it was definitely emotional and i feel like i need to give her books another chance to give like the full i'm not a sally rooney fan or i am but we'll have to see and then this book I've heard it so many times, so I'm kind of like shocked to see it at the Goodwill because I feel like it's pretty new. So I did lie, Goodwill, this is the romance area of the Goodwill, but literally it's always just Nora Roberts. Like it's not like any good romance books. And then we were, uh, the other selection I was showing was like fiction. So like some of those fiction books are romance, but they don't like ever categorize as romance. It, it's just fiction. And then I'm in like YA science fiction. Um, I believe this is... A mixture of both like they just kind of merge YA and science fiction and then these are some putbacks of like people who like are about to buy but they just like end up not so they like throw it in random aisle so we have like a religious book and then gone girl which is an interesting selection and then this is me trying to decide what book i want to buy this one is like heavily damaged but it's like a sports romance and i it was on my tbr so i was like debating but it's just so heavily damaged um are we going to talk about how many duplicates of things they were um everything literally was a double so if you ever wanted to buddy raid go to the goodwill but i can't believe how many double of everything especially conversations with friend that hardcover copy was actually like brand new and then the paperback was really good condition um so i'm just like really shocked and yeah it was like kind of picked through but like still a great selection so good job so i decided to go to another one just because um it was daylight out now it's a little darker but i'm already here so i can't back out now but let's check out what they have last time they had the kids quotient so hoping their selection is still good i also hit a book there because i'm waiting it for it to be blue week which is tomorrow to buy it so hopefully it's still there <laughs> And just like that, we are in another Goodwill. This one is a smaller selection, in my opinion. Um, the aisles are like the same length, but like the shelves are literally half the size in the like height. And then this one we literally saw at the other Goodwill. And so it's here in hardcover. So I feel like all the selections of Goodwills are like same, same, but different. So it's the same, same 
but different. Okay, and then I posted this book on TikTok, but this is a Wattpad book, which was like really interesting to begin with but it was marked as seven dollars which is like outrageous for goodwill books because the most goodwill books is like five dollars 4.99 like i've never seen a book more than that and that was 6.99 and that was like so rare for me because the like the most expensive books 4.99 is like hardback and so i was like why is this wattpad book 6.99 that was shocking but we did see a lot of some book of the month, even some like of the older versions, like back in 2016. And then I've heard of this book, The Power of Now, which I've been wanting to read it, but I decided not to pick it up because I feel like now is not the right time. I just, if I bought it, I wouldn't have read it. And then I saw this cover of Girl, Woman, and Other, and it was Yellow Tag Day, so this would have been a dollar and fifty cents. And I was just so intrigued because I've heard nothing but good things, and I was just like debating. And then, of course, I found the selection, which I also bought before and I bought book one two and three and I bought at a goodwill but this is you know I just find it like a couple months later also at another goodwill and then you know just some other interesting YA books this looks like a Twilight knockoff which I don't know which came first but you know Twilight might be the knockoff of this book I also thought this was really cute, this like royal duet book, like they just looked so pretty together and someone like donated a duet together. We have made it back home, I have, I don't know who we is, but yeah, I didn't end up getting, I didn't end up getting anything because I feel like there wasn't a lot of things I was interested in um, and also I'm trying to be a little stricter on what I buy because I have a whole shelf of books that are like half read so I really need to crank down on this stricter buying policy for me. Um, and it worked out because I didn't buy anything but I did want to show you one thing I did buy yesterday, I got this book, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which I have almost bought before, and I think it was like five or six bucks on Target. Um, they might have had like a sale, like 20% off or something, but I almost bought like original brand new, but I found it at my local library like used book sale, and it was 50 cents. And it's the movie cover, which I don't mind, but it is a lot shorter than I thought. I'm super excited for this, so I wanted to show you since we did go book thrifting, but I didn't take you to my library book sale yesterday. But thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Hope you enjoyed me going thrifting and then everything in between. I got the descriptions for all my other socials, things like that. Subscribe, stick along for other videos, and I'll see you next time. Catch you on the flip side.